Hey artists! Today I'm going to teach you how to use graphite sticks to show value. I've created a new value scale here using my different graphite sticks and I have my gum eraser here. Yours might look like this and all you need to do is take the wrapping off of it. This is my gum eraser or my kneaded eraser and the cool thing about this is that it's like gum and I can knead it which means pushing it and pulling it and squeezing it and it's almost like brand new after you knead it a couple of times. So we have these graphite sticks and they're labeled 6B, 4B, 2B, and then most of our pencils are actually called HB. And these show the different hardnesses of the graphite. Graphite is what is inside of our pencil and these are just straight graphite sticks. Check out the pencil. You can see it says HB right here. This is the softest graphite. I'm sorry, the hardest graphite. 6B is the softest graphite, 4B, 2B, so from soft to hard. And actually there is such a thing as 2H, 4H, and 6H, which gets even harder, and those would be um, above the HB. So HB is the middle. If you take a close look on the graphite stick, you can see the 4B right here. So we're going to use graphite sticks to create our portrait. I've created a new value scale here and you need to do the same. And it's just up to you how you want to blend your graphite sticks to create your value scale. So for my number five, I blended 4B and 6B, which are the two softest, which also are the two darkest. Number four is 4B. Number three is 2B and HB. Number two, oh, I forgot to write that. It's just HB. And then number one, obviously, is nothing. Oh, and I always keep a wipe handy because these graphite sticks get really messy. And what I don't want is fingerprints all over my portrait. Okay, so let's move these aside now that we know what they're all about. And I want to show you a portrait that I've already worked on a little bit. I'll keep my value scale handy. This is from a project called the Smashing Face Portrait. So I was looking at a picture of myself, <clears throat> excuse me, where I smashed my face up against some glass. And you know, it looks really funny. I know my nose looks really huge. Um, but I noticed that the darkest part of the portrait was inside my nose and right here along my hairline. So for that, I used a value number five with my 4B and I blended my 4B and my 6B. And then I noticed that up here by my hairline, it got lighter and lighter and lighter, but it never got to a white, the lightest light. The whitest part that I noticed was here around my nose. And so what I did, I'm not sure if you can tell. Hang on, let's figure this out. There we go. Right here, I drew a little area. I kind of marked it off. So I knew that, I know that's supposed to be the most white part, so I'm not going to put anything in there. Let me teach you one thing about a blending technique and then I'll demonstrate how to use the graphite sticks. So in my professional opinion, I don't think it looks good when artists use their finger to blend graphite. It, it looks inconsistent like this here. So sometimes what I see students do is they'll get their pencil and they're trying to create a blending effect and so they blend with their finger. To me that looks amateur and incomplete Plus it gets all your nasty hand oils on the artwork and we don't want that. We want to keep our artwork nice and clean. So here's what I suggest. I suggest creating blending like this and what I do in the middle is I get my 6B and I'm making it dark. Then I'm going to take my 4B and kind of blend a little bit more and then my 2B. And so I can create that blending effect without smearing and smudging my artwork with my finger. I may even go back to my 4B to create those edges a little bit. And then I could add some HB around the edge if I want. That's my professional opinion and my suggestion. Alright, so when I use my graphite sticks, I'm going to start with my darkest value here under my hairline with my 6B, 2B, 4B, 6B, HB. 
I'm not going to press too hard because these graphite sticks, they will break. But also, the 6B is so soft that it gets dark enough without pressing really hard. So I'm going to check that out. I'm going to leave a little bit of my 4B in there. And so in order to blend out, I'm just going to continue out with my 4B. Again, I'm not pressing hard. I'm really just letting the graphite stick touch the paper and move my arm so that the graphite stick moves around. Yes, I'm going outside the lines, but that's okay because I'm going to cut this out and I won't need that border. And when I'm looking at my picture, I know that I can see that the shadow gets lighter and lighter, so I'm going to switch to my 2B. And like I said, my entire forehead does have a shadow on it. There's no white part. So I'm going to go ahead and shade in. It's very light, but I am going to shade that in. I'm going to go back and darken this a little bit with my 4B so that there's more contrast. Remember, it's so much easier to put more graphite onto your paper than it is to try and erase. I really try not to use my eraser very much because once I erase, it, in my opinion, it just doesn't look very complete. So my eyebrows are probably about a 2B. I'll start with that and then I can add more if I need to. Notice when I'm using my graphite stick, I'm not laying my hand on the paper because obviously that will smear. I'm holding my hand up and I'm either balancing with my pinky or kind of right here on the edge, making sure that none of my hand touches any of the graphite ever. And if I have to move my hand around the corner, then I will. Oops, I was doing my eyebrow. So now I'm going back to my hair over here again, where it gets really dark in my hairline. and it blends out to a lighter color, lighter value, excuse me, there's no color, just value. That's 4B, 6B is really dark. Again, I'm blending with my graphite stick, not my finger. Okay, and the last thing I wanna show you is how I blended my nostrils, <laughs> my big nose here. I noticed that in the middle on my picture, I looked at the value of my nostril, and the value of my nostril is really dark, but I noticed in the middle it's even darker. It's the darkest dark dark of the entire photograph. So what I did is I created a super dark value right here. Now I'm lessening my pressure as I go out. I'm keeping my six because my nostril is really dark. I'm not using the point of my graphite like this. I'm kind of using this, this edge right here, so I'm not using that point. I'm trying to use this whole edge. I can blend this to make it darker. So as I continue to work on my portrait, my portrait showing value, I need to make sure that I have each value represented. So right now I have my five represented here, my four is represented here, my three represented here, my two is represented here, and my one, obviously it's not colored in, but it's represented here on the nose. And that is how I use graphite sticks.